Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. A little bit knitting before I go down my granddaughter's. It's another dark sort of day. We've been promised snow this morning. It's after 11 now. It's looking like snow but it hasn't happened. I hope it doesn't because uh, I don't like driving in snow but it's only a short journey down to my granddaughter so that's not too bad but I do have to go to the shop before I go down my granddaughter because I haven't been out to get any sweets for the kids <laughs> and the snow is supposed to be melting later on today because we're getting higher temperatures from tomorrow so it will be all right. I should be at my bingo this week, which I haven't been for the last two Thursdays. And this what I'm knitting is for my friend. Which if she'd asked me one more time, I was going to throw it at her when I... <laughs> but I did see her. <laughs> Will I get my cardigan for Christmas? Please, yes, you will get your cardigan for Christmas. You'll get it for Thursday. This is how far I've got with this one. I've done the back and the two fronts on it. It is a little bit bigger than the other one I did. It's, a, it's a measure 24 to 26 because she is a four-year-old a little girl this one's for. As you can see, That's the back and the two fronts. You can see the back there. And the uh, started one of the sleeve. Now I only started that on Friday. Yes, it was Friday after tea on Friday. I think I started um, that one after I had finished um, Val's cardigan. And she sent me a an email i think i posted it on friday and she got it the next day saturday because she sent me um, an email to say she had getting it and i was really surprised because um the royal mail were on strike on friday or was it thursday no it was thursday yes friday i posted it and she got it on saturday morning so that was very good that some other ones, I know some other ones have taken a lot, a lot longer. And I know there is one, um, one lady who got some of my coasters. Hers have been lost in the post. So I don't know whether she's getting them yet. But um, I did see if they, they didn't turn up, I would just do her another set and send them to her. But it's really annoying that with the, um, the post. But um, anyway, I'm doing this, but... I have already started one for my other friend. I started this last Sunday when I was at my granddaughter's because I didn't want to take a large order with me. But I had started, this is a smaller one, I had started a little bit. So at least when I finish this one, I've got this one started a little bit. So I can get on to this and maybe just get this one finished for Thursday as well. Because it is a bit smaller and not take quite as long as the... Um, the other one, this is only for a 22 to a 24. The other one's a 24 to a 26. So, and Val did send me a photo to show me um, what the cardigan looked like on. But you have to bear in mind that it's for her mother, not her. She's wearing the cardigan. And she is, a, she is larger than what her mother is. So it probably... Fits her the way it fitted me. I would have done a, um, a little video with me, but it um, it was quite tight on uh, me because it's only a 36 to a 38 and I do a 42 to a 44 for myself. And it looks similar on um, Val as it did on me. I think not quite as tight on Val, but you have to bear in mind that uh, the person who you're seeing the photograph is not the person that it's for. She does have a, like she said, she had a polo neck sweater thing underneath it so anyway I'm going to show you that photo that um, Val sent me so 
so that's what the cardigan looks like on and like I've said before it's always nice to see something I've knitted to see what it actually looks like on the person who has bought it I can usually try it on myself but um, you know we are all different sizes nobody's the same and when I finish these little ones I will be doing my own hopefully I will get a bit more of this one done and then I can do the finish the tutorial that I was doing on this sweater because I've got this far with it just need to put I might stitch the shoulders up on here and put the um the neck on this bit and add this bit to the tutorial before I show the um the sleeves because that's what I started knitting at the moment. What I started knitting before I had to leave off to do all the other things I had to do. So I'll get that sleeve finished. But I think I might put the neck on first and put it on the the tutorial to show how to put the um how to pick the stitches up and do the um the neck. Because I'm hoping to fit to get this finished for New Year. Depending on the weather, whether we have no snow, I will be up where my friend lives for New Year's Eve and out with her and her husband and stopping at her house overnight but if the snow on the my phone there the snow on the um on the ground i won't be going i will not drive in a lot of snow and um a long distance i'm gonna cut my tea before it gets cold no and then when i finish that one I have that little one that I started as well, a little 26 inch, get that one probably up on my shop, just the back, that's all I've done with that one. And then, this one. I've been doing this one for such a long time I forgot what I was actually doing with it to get the little bit of paper there but to get this one done I think I forgot where I actually how I was pattern I think I brought it down the actual stitches I was doing for the um the pattern because it's not from a pattern it's just my own pattern and I had done the part of one of the sides and that's a cardigan so hopefully I'm going to get that one done and hope I've got enough of that wool because it's mariner's wool and if I was run out I would have to send away for it but I think I have enough I think I had five balls which is enough for my size and that'll be some of my own sorted Hopefully. And so I am just going to sit and knit here for about another hour and then I'm going to knit to the shops before I go down to my granddaughter's and hope it doesn't snow before then because like, it is looking very much like it's quite dark outside which is what usually happens when it's going to snow. But yeah, te um, got warmer temperatures coming along from tomorrow, so hopefully we'll have some better weather between now and the run up to Christmas. So thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now. <laughs>